Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Toon Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to be trying out pen blanks. Now I know a lot of people make pen blanks, a lot of people, especially turners, um, or people make pen blanks to give to turners. I do have a lot of turner friends. I don't actually turn myself yet, but I'm planning to in the future, if things go according to plan. Got to get through this pandemic first, I think. But yeah, I'm going to make some pen blanks. Now, I saw a long time ago, I think it was Jake Thompson who made some pen blanks. I'll put his link down below. And he twisted some resin rounds to make spirals or something. It was a long time ago. I can't exactly remember. But I thought that would be really cool. So I'm going to attempt to make some pen blanks. That's the plan. Now, unfortunately, I missed some footage here. I accidentally deleted it, which is typical. But basically all I've done is mixed up quite a lot of different colors and poured them out in strips, trying to keep the thickness of the resin quite thin. Unfortunately, I did pour too much in this mold, not thinking, and it was quite thick, but it still did what I wanted it to. The thinner, the better, really. Now, this is late at night and I'm demolding it because I need to do it before the morning. I don't want it to be cured up. I need it to be soft and supple. So it's hard enough that I can take it out of the mold, but it's not too cured that I can't twist it when, when I've taken it out. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get fingerprints on it. However, later on I realize I can't get fingerprints on it because it's cured up that much anyway. And I'm being quite gentle because I don't want to stretch it. I want it to stay in the form that I've put it in. So I'm putting it on my chopping board and I've got my metal edge ruler and a standing knife. It turns out actually that the standing knife wasn't the best way to cut this because it was quite soft. A pair of scissors did much better. So I don't want a rough size for the pieces that I'm cutting but I'm not too bothered about the size of them I just want to get it stripped off until it gets down to the right depth from my mold which I'm going to be cutting larger strips for and placing in the mold directly without twisting them so I've scored a line with with my knife and I'm using the scissors to cut through the resin now if the resin was thinner it would be a lot easier but it's very soft so cutting with scissors isn't a problem and you can see there that the strips are very bendy, which is what I want really. So trying to get my metal edge onto the side that I wear, I'm using my blade. I don't want to slice through my ruler with the blade. And again, just trimming up the edges. So unfortunately I did miss the next piece of films where I'd formatted the camera and hadn't realised I hadn't taken the footage off. But that's typical isn't it? The footage here isn't very good I'm afraid but it's the only footage I have left of the mould where I've put the strips in. I'm actually going to fill that with black and the strips will then go in between the black so that you will have black holding it together but the strips are in there. I hope that's understandable. So now you can see I've got some wooden barbecue skewers and some push pins and I'm starting to twist the resin around to hold it onto the skewers. So now I'm going to show you how I twisted these round skewers. These skew, wooden skewers are very handy and the push pins just hold them in place while they cure. So all this is being done late at night because I need this to be soft to be able to do it and if I leave it overnight then it will go hard and I won't be able to do it at all unless you heat it up dramatically. My thought process was that when you turn a pen you only are left with the piece in the middle so I want these swirly bits to be in the middle of the pen mould. That's the intention. So you can see how soft the resin still is 
even though it should be a lot thinner it's fine because it's quite soft and it will go around that stick really easily and here I'm doing two bits of resin together just to make a different pattern it did occur to me you could flat resin actually if it was that thin and cut into strips it's an idea for the future Okay, so this is the following day and you can see I've put actually some on different design in front of the stick. A little bit like chandelier pieces. Can you imagine making a whole chandelier with resin and twisting it? <laughs> that would look really cool. Quite lightweight as well really, because glass is a lot heavier. This is 24 hours after I poured the resin into the mould. Now I did actually miss that footage as well. Accidents happen, nobody's perfect eh? And you can see there that one of the twisted pieces is actually popping out of the resin. So they're not just black, there is bits in there, trust me. But the mould is amazing, it's very easy to work with. So what I should have said at the beginning was I got the pen blank mould, this one, from Crafted Makes, that's Stephen uh, on Instagram. I don't know if he's got a YouTube channel, I should check that out really, but I, um, I found him on Instagram. He's actually a wood turner I think and I've been talking to him for a while, he's amazing. And he made this pen blank for me in my own colours because I wanted it all sparkly and it wasn't that expensive considering the price of pen blanks you'd buy on Amazon or other places. That being said, the pen blanks that I made that now look just completely black, <laughs> that look really, really dull. I'm hoping that these turn into something special. Now, like I said, I'm not a wood turner, but I have friends that are, and these are going to JP Woodwork. If you don't know JP, he's an amazing wood turner, lives in Kent, not far from me. So these are going to go to him and hopefully he's going to make some pens out of them and put up a video as well. So yeah, I'll put their links in the description below. I hope these turn out really well and we'll find out. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.